top of um, my um, my view or my 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 opinions would be organization. We're failing to be organized. Um, once we manage to see ourselves as a nation and understand how what it what each individual does affects a nation, then we'll start changing um, the way we think in terms of organization and being organized. Uh, because you find that even at the most basic level, we are failing in even organizing families. Yeah? Without a family, we don't have a community. Without a community, we don't have a society. So in terms of organization, our organizational skills need to be developed because that feeds in to the bigger picture of national, nationalism. Am I proud to be an African? Am I proud to be a Zimbabwean? Am I proud to be a Ndebele or a Shona? That's the most fundamental. And you need to move away from this primitive thinking of tribalistic kind of thinking where um, we think that we are divided by um, tribes. We should, we should, instead, we should realize that that diversity is a blessing and we should take advantage of that diversity and stop the wars in Africa. Whether it's a case of getting rid of the borders that were brought about pre-colonialism, we need to think um, seriously about that and critically to understand why we are failing to even hold credible elections, peaceful elections. Is it, is it, is it because we need to restructure the way our um, constituencies are organized in terms of our borders, or should we get rid of the borders completely? And if that's the case, how do we develop in terms of security and peace? Because one fundamental issue that we have in Africa today is a situation where there is no peace because we are fragmented in society, where we see ourselves as being part of a tribe or part of a party. And therefore, we feel that the next person who is not in my party is an enemy. Hence, there is no peace. So, you know, we need, we need, we need to grow up um, in terms of um, maturing and understanding what it is that's required for us to become successful as a country, as a society, or as a nation. So I think... Um, you know, we should, we should now be looking at the bigger picture. How can Africa be united as a whole? How can all these different um, parties, you know, and, you know, different ethnic groups, um, I will not use the word tribes, because language is also important. We have to understand that when colonizers called us tribalist, there was a reason why they did that. It was to make you appear to be primitive. So we need to move away from thinking primitively and start thinking um, more maturely and say, okay, no, we are not tribes. We're just, we're just different ethnic groups, but the bottom line is we're all Africans. So we should be trying to work together to create peace on the continent. And I think um, I would even suggest getting rid of the borders as they are right now and actually coming up with a more um, united Africa where countries can start trading with each other and actually making mobility much easier. Yeah? And even when it comes to elections, we need to move away from this idea of if someone is on the opposite side of the table, they are an enemy. We should understand that for the national agenda, they are not an enemy. They are a brother or a sister, a friend. However, in terms of debate, we just have different views. And those views should not be so um, ingrained that we have to kill each other. We need to move away from that thinking. And if there is any um, leader who instigates such views, they need to be challenged. Because now we, we now need a prescriptive and mature debate where we are saying we're moving away from a situation where you know, we are thinking primitively and we're now thinking more maturely. Um, Zimbabwe, for instance, would be um, 32 years old now. 
So at 32, I should not be thinking like a teenager. There has to be, we need to show that maturity. So I think, I think at the end of the day, even um, our leaders need to be challenged in that respect to say, okay, show us that maturity. Yeah, we are a nation that's 32 years old. We should not be using um, very immature tactics just to gain a position. And leadership also should not be um, taken as a privilege or as a, should I say, as chieftainship. But leadership should be demonstrative with um, executing mandates and producing results. If results are not produced, people should be accountable. And that's what is lacking in Africa today, where we, we, we fail to have that organization and accountability and bringing our leaders um, to account, where we actually say, okay, has there been progress? Yes, there has been progress. However, it has not been good enough. Yeah? If it has not been good enough, what lessons are learned from the past that can be taken to the future? And if there, if there, if there are lessons that are learned, um, how do you implement those right lessons? And you know, we need to move away from this situation where we keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. In as much as there is foreign intervention with our problems in Africa, I think if we look inside into ourselves introspectively, we will find um, solutions because the solutions are actually in the problems themselves. So I don't think Africa really has that much of a task um, which is um, unsolvable, but it's just, a case, it's just a case of how we decide to organize ourselves and work together for the good of our own nations.